Welcome to Code with Kurt, the channel brings you the latest Google Sheets and Google Apps Script videos. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to create charts using Google Apps Script in your Google Sheets. In this example, I have a table with name and total sales, and here I want to visualize this data. So right now I have a pie chart, but here I got to create a custom menu of charts that I can show this data. So I could switch this to a bar chart to look at in this way and then I could switch this to a line chart like that and then I could go back to the pie chart so I'll give a step-by-step -step process of how I put this together if you're new to this channel subscribe to catch my latest videos let's get started with this video here I am on my new Google spreadsheet I have it called charts up here I have the sheet name called sales down here and I have a simple table here which is the header with name and total sales and then I have a list of names and the total sales they have now this could be for like a month week year this is just very general data right now no formulas or anything just pure pure data right here so next I'm gonna go in my Google Apps script and then I'm gonna give it a name I'm gonna call it charts I'm going to hit rename. Next, I'm going to copy the code in here. And I will provide a, the code in a link in the description so you can easily copy and paste it yourself. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. So there, I have it copied. I'm going to hit save. So I'm going to go through this code step by step here. I'm going to jump. I'm going to skip this on open. I'm going to go to this add menu first. So what we basically have to do is create our own custom menu to call these different charts. So if I go back over to my sheets here, I'm going to put the custom menu right here. It's going to add the custom menu here, right there. I'm going to call that charts. And then I'm going to build the menu items. So I got bar chart, line chart, and pie chart. These are the names. Then I have these calling the functions here, bar chart, line chart, and pie chart. And these are the functions that I'll be calling right here. And then the next part is to add to UI and this kind of renders it, creates the menu and add these three items to that. So then I also have this on open. So whenever I open the document, on open is a standard app script call here. And then every time this document is opened, it'll create the menu. So then I, so this statement will call add menu, which will create the items in my menu. So then from there, you could select either one of these things and they'll call either one of these functions. But I got it split out here. So bar chart will call this add chart bar. Line chart will call add chart line passing a parameter through. And pie chart will call, call add chart pie here, which will come down to this function. So all three call this function, passing in a parameter of type. So here I'm having my spreadsheet object. I am setting up my sheet object here of sales. So the next thing I'm doing is I'm calling last row and that is finding the last populated row here in this chart. That's a standard function and then I'm adding one to that right here. And the reason I'm adding the one is to compensate for this header row right here. Because I'm basically gonna be pulling data for just this. I, I'm not gonna worry about the header row. And I'll show you how that works later on. And then I'm getting the, all the charts off this sheet here, right? getting charts. Now the first thing I'm doing here is I want to clear all the charts off. So when I click bar chart, I want to clear the previous chart off the screen and then add one. So I'm like deleting, adding, deleting, adding every time you choose a chart. So here this will do a for look, look through all the charts. Really, I should only have one chart on the screen. It's going to chart it's going to give the object of chart here and then we're going to remove the chart from the sheet so it's basically going to clear all the charts but really i only have one in display at all times so if we select a line chart here we are going to create a new chart object we're going to set the chart type of line uh, we're going to give it a title of sales chart we're going to set the H axis to salesperson, the, the V axis to US dollars. 
vertical axis, horizontal axis. Next, we're going to add the range of data that we want, and this is where this last row comes in. So basically getting the last row to add to this right there. And then, uh, and the reason we do the plus one is because we can't have A2 plus B1. So if there was no data, we don't want to give it a range of A2, B1. We want to give it an A2, B2, basically. That would make more sense in the range call. Next, we're setting the position to four, which will be four rows, four columns over, two rows down. So it'll put it right on this spot right here and fill in right here. So that's two, four, and then the next two zeros is the offset. So you can offset this a certain distance off of this column if you want, but I have that set to zero since we're not gonna do any offsetting. We want it right at two, four. And then we hit the build. And then from that build, we go down here and we do sheet insert chart right here. That puts it actually into the Google Sheet there. So that is for our line chart. Next is our bar chart. So basically same kind of setup. Here we have the chart type of bar. We're setting our title of sales chart. We're setting the V-axis to salesperson and H to US dollars. Now this is opposite of what it is on the line chart. So you basically just have to populate it, see where it's gonna fall. If it makes sense, change it to how the axis is lining up. Next, again, we're using this getting our range using the last row. We're setting it at 2, 4 again, and we're building that, and then again, inserting that chart if it is a bar. Next, if the type is pi, we come here. Again, setting it as the pi. We're setting the range. We're setting the title. We don't have to set V and H access data here since it's not like that. I do have a parameter of is 3D true? That makes it look a little more 3D-ish in the picture. We're putting it at 2.4 with no offset, and then we're gonna use the build. The build's like the last comment. That kind of renders the whole thing. That means you're done setting all your options. The build is kind of like the last call. And then you're inserting that chart. If you want more information on all these settings here, there is, Google provides a lot of documentation here, and I'll have this in the description the link below as well. But here's basically what I'm calling here, these examples here, of their basic example here of their setup. And in this, they have a set options here. This is basically all the visual settings you can set. If I can find the page here. Yeah. So this sheet here will give you every detail of every chart you can set through Google Apps Script on this, what I'm calling here the set option. So here I'm just setting title is 3D. If you go through here, say you want to say the chart we've been looking at, the pie chart here, you can set the background color, the background fill, chart area, chart area background color. You can check the color, the height, the left, the right, the top, the width, all these settings. Here's one I'm using is 3D. This is just a true false. But it gives you every kind of detail you can set for your chart. So again, I'll provide this as a link too. It's just further details. In my example, I'm just giving just basic settings here, but you can list all kinds of settings you could do for each one of these charts. So there I got through all the code there for my example here. I'm going to hit save. And then next I'm going to do is I'm just going to call this add menu by itself here. And basically what I'm going to do is try to get to the permissions part of this. So it'll run me through my permissions so I can grant it access to everything. So I review permissions, select my account, hit advanced, hit go to charts. I'm going to allow it to do this, edit, create, and delete Google Sheets. I'm going to allow it, and there it's completed. I could go up here to charts. It should add my menu in here, and then if I select that, I can select bar chart, and it'll present my data. And it's also neat over here is you could go through here and change these values. 
and it'll change it instantly. You can actually add a name here and it'll populate it right in, right in instantly. So it's pretty neat, pretty thing, pretty neat setup they have here with these charts. That concludes this video. If you have any questions or comments, please leave it below the video. Until next time.